They've not even been Who arrested. Are these many important people that you're talking about. See, right now, I'm, I'm not going to name any here because those informations are with the SIC, with the CBI. There has been huge hues and cries against this demand as well, null and void. In the span of a year, government kitna percentage tak kaam kiya hoga? If the government had the will, this 13 points charter of demand, this can be done within three months. The, I'll quote it. It stated the movement started to was going quite well, but it started to take the wrong turn when people with dubious character started to hijack the movement. But uh, the fear of uh, being targeted is still there. But I still say that, yeah, I, I would still say that uh, that thing does not hold me back. A warm greetings, dear viewers. Welcome to the space. I am Emma Don, and I'll be your host for mm. this show. Today, we are going to discuss one of the most embroiling issue of the state which was seated inside the administrative system of Arunachal Pradesh, affecting the life of me, you and many people of the state. The revelation of paper leakage and deep-rooted corruption in the administrative system has jolted the entire state. But with it's been over one year now since the issue was taken up, but it seems like issue have somehow mellowed down. There has been many uh, diverse layers that has been coming up. There has been confusions in the air as well and a desperate need of clarity on the 13th Charter of Demands placed by Pan Arunachal Joint Steering Committee. So to clarify further and to get to know more about the issues and its updates, we have the team of Pan Arunachal Joint Steering Committee, who has been spearheading the APPSC fiasco movement. So we have with us uh, the members. On the first, we have Tada Knalo, who is the vice chairman of Pan Arunachal Joint Steering Committee. Welcome, Tada. And we have all next. We have our Techi Rana, who is a member of Pan Arunachal Joint Steering Committee, and both of them as well is an aspirant. So we'll begin with our discussion. Um, see, it seems like there has been various narrative that has come up, you know. The student union says that the demand has been fulfilled and the government says that it has been already readdressed and your claim is that, that it has not fulfilled at all. So would you like to enlighten more about that? This issue is actually, it has been one year, one complete year. This issue was started in the month of August in 2022. Abhi agya hai August 2023. So complete, one complete year has, has gone by. Lekin ya pe isliye today the purpose and the uh, reason for coming here is that to, to tell the people abhi tak <coughs> ye issue mein kitna tak hua hai? What exactly was the demand? How much the government has done? And how much is still yet to be done? So today we have come here to clarify on that. Isliye aaj ya pe aake jitna hamara jo 13 point starter of demand hai, isko public domain mein batana hai, isko dissect karna hai, isko analyze karna hai, and then to tell the people, abhi tak government ka taraf se kitna hua hai, aur abhi bhi kitna karna baaki hai. So with, through this discussion, we'll come to know exactly abhi jo narratives chal raha hai, whether that is correct or not. And according to us, ye abhi jo hamara issue hai, not even a single single demand has been fully fulfilled. Right. Yeah, so that's why we feel that this discussion is necessary. Okay, it's very mm. much necessary. So I want to put forth the question to you, Rana, since you are a member and an aspirant as well. Um, this question, uh, I mean, this very uh, question has been on the mind of many, right? So. Um, the issue, it took around a year, right? And there is a long way to go, it seems, considering the pace that it is heading on. And it is quite evident that it is depriving the right to opportunity to the fresh aspirants as well. So how do you look into it? And, ex and, and let's put in the age limit as well, you know, by your effort as well, before, you know, you joined 
it, uh, the team converted into Pan Arunachal Joint Steering Committee. There was a demand that you placed it on the government that you know the age limit should be more than should be you know exceed till 40. So what do you think about that? You know, does it do any justice on that? And how do you justify the age limit criteria, uh, considering the issue that is going on? All right. I think uh, this is one of the most important questions that is going around in the uh, public domain. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, it is also important to address the issue here. So uh, uh, keeping in mind the age criteria and uh, concerns of the uh, fresh graduates and the uh, age threshold people. Uh, actually, uh, see, I myself is an aspirant. And once I was a fresh graduate, and uh, so I can totally relate with the people that, that they are creating this kind of uh, the mindset is there. You know, like, uh, uh, it is always there that the, the first uh, attempt that I give is the best attempt I can get. Yeah. Usually this is the mindset and it is actually correct because you are fresh then. But uh, in, a, in a system like APPSC in Arunachal Pradesh, which is very saddening, but the fact is that uh, there ha never have been an APPSC examination conducted till date, which has uh, not taken at least three to four years for a completion of one single examination. So keeping in mind, uh, this has been happening because uh, there have been always issues with the uh, APPSC. Yeah, the yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, every single examination got into some kind of legal tussle or some, uh, you know, like malpractices and all. And that is the reason why the examination which was supposed to be conducted uh, has to be completed within a year, got stretched till three to four years. That is the minimum benchmark. So uh, now coming to your uh, question is that, so, uh, according to my opinion, I feel like uh, not everyone, but uh, certainly an approach should be made that way that you, s uh, you should sincerely attempt these examinations because everyone aspires to be the top bureaucrats. But what is the point of you know spending your entire youthful life preferring for one examination and not looking forward for the secondary options that you can explore and uh, just uh, finding at the end of the day that it was never a level playing field. The exam was always a compromised exam. And uh, at the end of the day, after reaching say your late 30s or in your 40s, you will just feel that I have just wasted my youth there. So our attempt here at Penn Arunachal Joint Steering Committee that has led this movement is, you know, we want this uh, uh, APPSC as an institution to restore the faith in the aspirants so that uh, even if I say, say, uh, say I sit for two to three attempts, but make sure the uh, examination is fair enough so that the utmost meritocracy is upheld and those actually deserving goes through. I want to know the latest update as well that, um, you know, in regards that the PIL was filed by um, Pai Gyadi. So what is the update on that since the High Court has directed the ED to come up with the status of the investigation into APPAC cash for job scam? So do you have any updates on that? Are you in touch with the social activists? Can you give us more update on that? Yes, <clears throat> yes. Um, first and foremost, uh, we, we really want to, not just the Pen or Natural Joint Steering Committee, but हमारे जितना भी आम जनता है, we really want to express our gratitude कि somebody like Pai Gyadi sir has come up with this initiative क्योंकि this particular issue, this ये जो paper paper leakage का जो scam है, this needs to be confronted from every fronts, from every corner. यहाँ पे ऐसा है जो democratic movements है that that will go on and apart from that जो legal battle है that has that has also has to go simultaneously. So in that regard, we really want to be, we really want to extend our gratefulness to our uh, uh, Pai Gadi sir, uh, our social activist. So as far as the <coughs> the update is concerned, so far whatever we have received, is, whatever you have heard, that's the same thing what we yes. what we have received. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we are in touch with him. Or uska taraf se ye bhi bola hai ki jo uska advocates hai. In fact, we wanted to meet him and ham log usse bhi discuss karenge because. Ye jo hai, this is a collaborative effort. This cannot be a single yes. person ka battle nahi hai, not just one single organization ka. This is a collaborative effort and 
we have to participate equally participate here okay all right so um well delving into the 13th charter of demand you know we we need a little cl clarity on that as well i mean it's there i mean people have must have read about it but there is a little need to clarity need of clarity to understand the ch 13th charter of demand on that so delving into that topic i would like to ask you i i'm on the first demand that PAG, PAJ SC has uh, placed is the chairman, secretary, members and all other officials of APPSC from 2014 to 2022 must be immediately brought under the purview of investigation. If any discrepancy are reported, arrest must be done immediately, right? Mm -hmm. So so the action taken by the government is right. It seems and in and ED has been enforced, right? CBI has been enforced and it's code monitoring, a code monitor probe has also been imposed, right? In fact, headed by the retired judge of SC and HC for parallel investigation for the given timeline. So where do you think? It seems like the demand has been fulfilled. So where is the contention here? Exactly. Uh, the main contention here <coughs> The, the initiative of the government, jo hai, abhi tak jo kiya hai, <coughs> they have uh, endorsed the CBI and the CBI has come, definitely. They have endorsed the uh, enforcement, enforcement Directorate and they have also arrived. But unfortunately, so far they haven't endorsed the High Level Inquiry Committee, that is the Court Monitor Probe. Mm -hmm. That has not come yet. And as far as the CBI is concerned, CBI mein aisa hai, Hamne, <coughs> we as Pen Arunachal Joint Steering Committee, we have visited the jo CBI office hai, multiple times. Usme ye pata chala hai ki, pe personnel hi nahi hai. There is in inadequate yeah, personnel. Mm -hmm. To usme hamne state government ko bhi appeal kiya tha ki we have enough you know, police forces here. To they can be, uh, usko bhi waha pe aap deploy kar sakta hai to be part of the investigation process. Or in fact, hamko ye bhi pata chala ki CBI ka taraf se they had requested to the mm -hmm. state government ki pe at least 10 officers chahiye to be to be IOs investigation officers to baad mein state government ka taraf se aata hai ki they have only uh, deployed only two officers mm -hmm. to yahan pe aisa hai there are around more than 92 examination from 2014 se leke 2022 tak to ye sab examination ko investigate karne ke liye you need ample amount of ample number of personnel so, isme hamara ye sochta ki at least minimum there would be around five IOs, five investigation officers. Lekin waha pe jake pata chalta hai ki only one IO is taking care of the whole thing, and waha pe jitna personnel se hardly they stay there. Wo guhati mein rehta hai. To waha mein hamlo ko pata chala hai ki yaam state government ka that proactiveness, proactiveness was not there. Aur jaha tak ED ka sawal hai, when ED was called for, in fact jo hamara jo primary jo demand tha. ED ko bulane ka ye objective se bulaya tha jab ED aayega to yahan mein jitna bhi <coughs> kyunki yahan pe maximum cases mein it is a financial transaction ka issue hai this entire scheme mm -hmm. to financial as jab financial ye involvement hota hai to ED ka role is automatically that is required mm -hmm. to isme ED ka jo aane ka hum hamara objective ye tha ki jab ED aayega to hum ye socha tha ki jaise ED aayega Lot of culprits would be, you know, it bought kuch niklega. In fact, yaha pe accused luka bhi property ko bhi seize kiya jayega. Or yaha pe jitna jo chairman se leke jo members se, wo luka jo property disproportionation hai, usko bhi check kiya jayega. But after the arrival of the ED, wo to nai aane ka barabar hai. So far, we haven't received any update from there. Or jaha tak jab ED se jab aane ka baat ye pata chalta hai ki, sab se pehle, they summon the whistleblower. और कहां पे समन करता है ऑल गुवाहाटी में समन करता है तो हमारा ऑब्जेक्शन ये था कि इन्वेस्टिगेशन इतानगर में होना है अरुणाचल में होना है तो आप वहां से समन कर रहे कल को पता चलेगा दैट ईडी सेम ईडी सम वो समन भेज रहा है मुंबई से कभी दिल्ली से दैट इज हाईली इनकन्वीनिएंट फॉर अस एंड देयर इज अनदर कंसर्न दैट सिक्योरिटी कंसर्न इज आल्सो देयर तो जब हमने ईडी को पूछा तो ईडी ने कहा कि दिस इफ द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट वांट्स they can facilitate and yaha pe ek office establish kiya ja sakta hai to usne kaha ki agar state government chahe to ye provide hone se wo log yaha pe aayenge lekin so far in fact we have appealed to the state government also ki yaha pe kindly yaha pe uske uske liye ek 
ऑफिस का सुविधा आप यहाँ पे एस्टेब्लिश कर दीजिए लेकिन सो फार द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हैज नॉट डन ये सेम थिंग दैट यू आर शेयरिंग विथ अस टूडे यू से सेम थिंग वेन यू विजिटेड टू द सी बी आई ऑफिस right exactly so it seems like there is no changes no upgradation since your first visit to cbi it seems like no uh, development has come up yet it is the same thing there is uh, according to your observation not even a slightest improvement in this area what do you think about exactly that? i mean the statement seems almost the same absolutely what you are speaking right now it was the same when you visited to the cbi office exactly in fact humne cbi ka office mein we have visited multiple times yeah ये एक या दो बार नहीं मे बी फाइव सिक्स मंथ्स बैक ऑल्सो भी विजिटेड इनफैक्ट बिफोर डेट ऑल्सो उसमें भी यही सीनियरी होता एंड वन ईयर लेटर द सीनियर इज स्टिल द सेम ओके और अभी उसने हम ये चीज़ भी देखा है कि द काइंड ऑफ चार्जशीट दे हैव कम अप विथ क्योंकि सी बी आई ये चीज़ एम्पेसाइज करता है कि वी वर्क ऑन चार्जशीट तो यहाँ में हमने देखा कि चार्जशीट दे हैव कम अप इज एक्सट्रीमली यस इज एलिमेंट्री एंड that is it is very weak all right so talking about the court your next demand says for the immediate constitution of fast track court for prosecution of the accused involved in the appac paper leakage scams so the action taken by the government um, was that a guwahati high court on the recommendation of the state government designated the district and session court upr as the special fast track court Uh, to look over the case now you know the your according to your observation as you have written on the application it says that you know uh, you uh, upr high court is already overburdened yes. right mm -hmm. so i mean uh, the government should come up with a alternative option exactly so what would be your suggestion on that <clears throat> see the very idea of fast track court is that to speed up the trial process अभी यहाँ पे इनफैक्ट सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया हैज ऑल्सो आज दी सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट कि आप सेंट्रल स्पॉन्सर्ड स्कीम वो कतरू से डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स में एवरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट वेर एवर देर आर मोर देन हंड्रेड एफ आई आर्स उसमें फर्स्ट ट्रैक कोर्ट होना है दैट इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट आप यहाँ में देखिए वन फ्रॉम वन एंड यू से वी हैव डेजिग्नेटेड द यू पी आर कोर्ट एंड फ्रॉम द अदर एंड आप देखिए कि यू पी आर कोर्ट इज ऑलरेडी ओवर बर्डन और आप दूसरा साइड से बोल रहे हैं कि हमको फास्ट ट्रैक कराना है तो व्हाट इज द लॉजिक बिहाइंड आप जो ऑलरेडी ओवर बर्डन कोर्ट को आप उसी को ही फास्ट ट्रैक कोर्ट के लिए डेजिग्नेट किया जाता है तो यहाँ में ये स्टेट गवर्नमेंट का बोलना है कि दिस हैज बिन डन बाय द गुवाहाटी हाई कोर्ट ऑफ कोर्स वी हैव नो प्रॉब्लम विद वट एवर द हाई कोर्ट हैज डायरेक्टेड बट द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट कैन अपील अगेन री अपील दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर कोर्ट इज ऑलरेडी ओवर बर्डन विद सो मेनी अदर केसेस लाइक पॉक्सो केसेस एंड अदर क्रिमिनल केसेस तो ये ये इशू को जो यहाँ में जो इतना सीरियसनेस है इतना ज़्यादा देर आर सो मेनी एक्यूज इन्वॉल्व एंड सो मेनी केसेस दे गो एवरी डे ऑलमोस्ट लाइक डे टू डे बेसिस में यहाँ में हेयरिंग चल रहा है तो इसके लिए स्टेट गवर्नमेंट से हमारा यही अपील था कि इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस यू पी आर कोर्ट काइंडली डेजिग्नेट अनादर कोर्ट विद इन दिस आई सी आर रीजन so you have already submitted the application exactly. right yes. and the recommendation has been given so what is the uh, response from the government after you stated that you know it can be dealt with in other other ways as well so what was their response yeah in fact this uh, this particular problem we have uh, apprised to the state government mm -hmm. in form of a representation okay. ye 10th april 2023 ko hi humne de diya tha state government ko lekin uska taraf se so far we haven't received any correspondence okay all right because they have taken enough time and abhi agar kuch correspondence hona tha to abhi tak ho jana chahiye tha okay so we'll moving on to our third chapter of demand mm -hmm. which is the immediate establishment of state administrative tribunal mm -hmm. so um no so the action taken by the government is is that it has requested the appsc to, to set up standing grievances redressal committee an institutional mechanism that is still in the process so um what what do you think is the significant of state administrative tribunal and you know how how it is going to resolve the current fiasco that is going on what what do you think mm -hmm. how it will bring the impetus that is needed <coughs> see the reason behind putting this particular demand was that aisa tha jitna bhi uh, appsc mein jitna bhi problem aaya tha in the past 
mainly because many of the grievances were not addressed jo examination process jo usi stage mein bahut zyada grievances leke aata tha ye candidates ka taraf se but all of most of them went unaddressed to uska karan se that examination later on usme litigation ka case aaya aisa karke jaise my friend has said ki ek examination jo ek saal mein complete hona chahiye tha that got dragged on for another 4 to 5 years aisa karke bahut cases hua तो वो चीज़ को दिमाग में रख के इनफैक्ट दैट वॉज अ वेरी प्रोमिनेंट प्रॉब्लम विच मोस्ट ऑफ द मोस्ट ऑफ द एस्पेरेंट्स वी वर फेसिंग तो उसको लेके हमने बोला कि दिस स्टैंडिंग ग्रेवेंस रिजर्सल सेल नीड्स टू बी एस्टेब्लिश तब जाके हमारा जितना भी इश्यूज है एग्जामिनेशन रिलेटेड ग्रेवेंसेस दैट शुड बी एड्रेस्ड ऑन टाइम नॉट आफ्टर द कम्प्लीशन ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन प्रोसेस तो उसके लिए हमने कहा कि स्टेट गवर्नमेंट को काइंडली ये चीज़ को आप एड्रेस करना पड़ेगा तब जाके स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ने जो अश्योरेंस दिया है 18 फरवरी को दे अश्योर्ड की वी हैव ऑलरेडी अप्राइज टू दी वेब रिटर्न टू दी ए पी पी आई सी टू कम अप विद दिस पर्टिकुलर इंस्टीट्यूशन दिस मैकेनिज्म लेकिन सो फार वी हैवन रिसीव्ड यहाँ पे हमको कुछ भी अपडेट नहीं मिला है और वी आर हाईली डाउटफुल कि ऐसा कुछ ग्रेवेंस रिजर्सल सेल बनाया भी है बोल के क्योंकि अगर बनाया होता दिस शुड हैव कम इन दी ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट ऑल्सो अभी तक कुछ ऐसा कुछ ऑफिशियल कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंस भी नहीं है तो वी फील दैट दिस particular demand is still fulfilled. fulfilled yes all right so rana i want to know from you as well that the this fourth point uh, is it it talks about the immediate endorsement of ed and code monitoring prov and also immediate seizure of assets properties movable and immovable of all the accused and incumbents of appsc along with their kids and kin so uh, so the action taken by the government is that it says that it has already endorsed the ed right mm -hmm. i mean it has been repetitive going on that they has already endorsed the ed and high level inquiry committee has also been you know endorsed so where is the problem here where is the contention here this was actually assured on 18th of february so endorsement is done that we part uh, that part we accept but uh, the problem with the demand is that the kind of curiosity and the kind of effectiveness that the ed has actually shown on the ground uh, touching on the pil thing that uh, you have mentioned earlier also that pil is also in reflective of the uh, incapacity of the um, ed which was uh, endorsed by the state government because uh, uh, this uh, the court has also highlighted it by saying that that the particular case did not even had a case number so this is uh, this everything shows the inefficiency of the uh, ed that was endorsed mm -hmm. apart from the like a dialectical at attitude that has already shown like a you know like hamara jo usal blower hai unko samman karna complaints ko samman karna to literally kya ho raha hai ki ground mein ed ka uh, ed ka through kuch ho nahi raha mm -hmm. and uh, probably that is why the court has even asked the finance minister in the uh, in delhi to you know have a update about this thing mm -hmm. so literally on ground kuch ho nahi raha hai और यहाँ इसका गवर्नमेंट का थ्रू सामने कुछ अपडेट भी नहीं आया ऑल राइट सो विल हैड ऑन टू द फिफ्थ डिमांड दैट हैज बीन प्लेस सेज दैट इमीजिएट डिस्क्लोजर ऑफ द स्टेटस ऑफ वेरियस डिपार्टमेंट इंक्वायरी रिपोर्ट्स इनिशिएटेड सो फार अगेंस्ट द वेरियस सस्पेक्टेड और अरेस्टेड ऑफिशियल्स एंड सब्सिक्वेंट टर्मिनेशन डेयर फॉर सो आई मीन इन लाइन टू दिस देर हैज बीन मेनी सस्पेंड Mm -hmm. happened suspension, yes. suspension happened mm -hmm. 41 in total if exactly. i am not wrong yes, right yes. so um and also the government has you know has reported of initiating departmental inquiry against all the arrested officials by respective department on fast track manner mm -hmm. and uh, and you know 41 arrest has been done it seems that the cases were progressing uh, when it was under sic so wh how do you think you know it it is in the air that since the inclusion of cbi mm -hmm. the it feels that the progress that was taking on yes. it has come into a halt yes so what is your view on that whatever state government has done we have to admit that yahan mm -hmm. pe suspension hua hai mm -hmm. in fact some officers they have been terminated as well lekin hamara jo sabse bada contention ye hai ki the kingpin of this entire Uh, issue so far whatever we have come to know mm -hmm. is taket jarang the, okay. the former deputy controller of examination mm -hmm. iska termination abhi tak hua nahi hai okay 
that is a very very big question mark that is like that is in everyone's mind Taket Jarang is supposedly he is allegedly he knows a lot of names so we think that that's why he is not getting terminated what did he do? when he opened the paper leakage when he opened the paper leakage he gives it four seater men and for your information we have to tell the our jitna arunachal ka jitna viewers se aap sabko bhi pata hoga ki force retirement is not a punishment force retirement is actually a reward aap after retirement jo ek reward deta hai that is that reward hai to yahan pe hamara puchna ye tha ki whatever jo aap bhi departmental inquiry jo bhi baat kar raha hai okay that is fine but what about the termination of mr takit jaran aur yahan pe jitna bhi middleman hai jaise ये जोबंग सिंह मैंगो हो गया एंड देर आर सम अदर मिडल मैन हु आर नॉट ऑफिशियल्स व्हाट अबाउट देम सो आई मीन यू हैव बीन वर्किंग ऑन द इशू सिंस इज इट्स बिगिनिंग यू मस्ट हैव कम अक्रॉस हायर नेम्स एग्जैक्टली सो वुड यू लाइक टू इनलाइट अस मोर ऑन दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू अ फीडबैक अकॉर्डिंग टू द इनपुट्स वी हैव गिवन टू द एसआईसी और जितना हमारा सीबीआई को मिला है मिनिमम एटलीस्ट 350 टू 400 पीपल शुड हैव बीन अरेस्टेड बाय नाउ और यहाँ में जित जिसको भी अरेस्ट किया है इनफैक्ट हम लोग उस समय में भी ये एस आई सी को भी यही चीज़ हमने अक्यूज़ किया था कि यू आर कमिंग अप विद अ सेलेक्टिव इन्वेस्टिगेशन यहाँ पे इसलिए इसलिए हमने अक्यूज़ किया बिकॉज मैनी इम्पोर्टेंट नेम्स आप जिस जिसका अगेंस्ट में हमने इनपुट्स दिया लेकिन आपने उसका अगेंस्ट में कुछ किया नहीं दे हैव नॉट इवन बिन समन दे हैव नॉट इवन बिन अरेस्ट दिस मैनी इम्पोर्टेंट पीपल दैट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट See, right now I'm I'm not going to name any here because those informations are with the SIC, with the CBI. So are these people on a higher post than Taket Jarang that you are stating about? See, yah pe aisa hai. It's not just uh, from the system. There are many people involved here. Okay. That's why be, that is because dekhiye yah pe aisa hai. It is impossible that entire scheme could be executed by just one person. It is impossible. Exactly. Take Jerang, uska uska subordinate ko, wo loko pata nahi. They were part of this scheme or not? But definitely the people who were above him, who were the who were in the higher ups, they were absolutely involved here. So basically, you're not comfortable telling at all in revealing those. No, no. Like it's not that. Ke I'm see. It is the part of the investigation process. Jo investigation agencies se, they are supposed to be coming up with these names. Because all we have done is we have given the leads. Okay. Now it is up to the investigation agency to prove. Mm -hmm. And according to three member ICE committee report, usme bola hai ki, usme bola hai ki wahan pe do do chabi hai. I mean three keys, mm -hmm. strong room ka keys hai. Lekin according to the statement of the former chairman, uska hisab se do do chabi hai. There is a contradiction here. And the same is the statement of the uh, Taket Jarang. Taket Jarang bhi bola hai ki there are three keys. So there is some contradiction here. So all right. So we will move on to the sixth charter of demand, which says the immediate disclosure of three members' committee report. So would you like to throw up some light on it? What are your observation and um, you know your, the way forward towards it? Look, this three member ICE committee report was <coughs> actually this 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 in this particular demand will agree that this particular ye uh, jo three member ICE committee report jo hai. ये पब्लिक में रखा है लेकिन इसमें प्रॉब्लम ये है कि देव ओनली गिवन दी बताया है कि यहाँ पे एस वायलेशन हुआ है बट दे हैवन सेड कि एग्जैक्टली हु हैज़ डन दी वायलेशन किसने किया है और यहाँ में किसका एक्टिविटीज़ इन्वॉल्व है दे हैवन रिविल्ड एनी नेम्स और यहाँ तक ये यहाँ पे जो थ्री मेम्बर आइस कमेटी रिपोर्ट का दूसरा ड्रॉबैक ये है कि ये जो है सिर्फ एक ही एग्जामिनेशन में कन्फाइन किया है दैट इज ओनली ए सिविल 2022। व्हाट अबाउट द अदर एग्जामिनेशंस? वेर एवर पेपर लीकेज हैपन इनफैक्ट हमने स्टेट गवर्नमेंट को भी वही चीज़ सेम चीज़ अपील किया था और जो हमारा आ, ये है आ, जो सेक्रेटरी है ऑफ द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिफॉर्म्स डिपार्टमेंट उसका सेक्रेटरी को भी वे हैव अपील की काइंडली यू कम अप विथ दिस सेम सिमिलर कमिटीज फॉर अदर एग्जामिनेशन वेर एवर पेपर लीकेज हैपन So so far we haven't received any update, any correspondence, and so far no action has been observed. You know, not completely fulfilled. All right. So um, we'll head on to our uh, seventh demand. It says that suspension of all the upcoming exams till the completion 
of the investigation process and endorse UPSC to conduct upcoming examination till the completion of the investigation process. And here, interestingly, the step taken by the government is that, you know, step taken by the government via cabinet decision, it provided a recommendation which was passed to UPSC to conduct the grade A and grade B examination. But in the UPSC on response, interestingly, said that there, are all, there is already standing member there in APPSC. Um, you know, they have declined conducting the exam or to take steps onto it. So what, what are your opinions on that? And if it is, it seems that it has stuck between, right? Mm -hmm. So what do, you, what do you think would be the next way forward? Yeah, the state government says why did you take so much time to endorse to the UPSC? This was placed in the month of September 2022. And the state government has endorsed in the month of, I think in the month of April. So why did you take so much of time to endorse? So in that case, we knew that it was to And the point is that UPSC is not able to conduct the examination. And the other contention is that APPAC, they are still in the deadlock because of the, this, um, this uh, legal battle. But right now, the present status is that the legal battle hai, the jo Honorable High Court ka taraf se ye bola hai ki, they have reserved the judgment and till then the other this, um, this formation of the commi commission, jo hamara, jo APPC ka jo commi commission jo gatan karna hai, that process can still go on. So we have state government ko hai ki, why are, what are they waiting for? So heading on to the eighth charter of demand, which says that the all the higher officials above the rank of deputy secretary must be investigated from 2014 to 2022. Here as well, the government said that it has endorsed Enforcement Directorate and CBI to look into the matter. And one of the questions that I want to know from you, why 2000, why from 2014? 2014 ko ek benchmark rakne ka कारण ये है कि जो भी एक डेडलाइन या फिर एक बेंचमार्क सेट करना था दैट हैड टू बी अ प्रैक्टिकल डेडलाइन हम यू ही रैंडमली ये नहीं बोल सकते कि इस इस साल से निकाल निकाल लेना है क्योंकि ये जो डॉक्यूमेंटेशंस है जहां तक हम एक्सेसिबल कर सकते हैं दैट वुड बी वो इन्वेस्टिगेशन करने वाला जो एजेंसीज है उनके लिए आसान रहता है and most importantly, 2014 को benchmark रखने का reason ये भी है कि 2014 में एक बड़ा सा एक APPSC में घोटाला को एक अंडेखा नहीं करके उसमें बहुत सारा एक प्रदर्शन हुआ था hunger strike भी हुआ जो उसमें 2014 में अगर आपको याद होगा तो पर आपने चुप का घंटा को भी साथ से जिन्होंने उस exam दिया या फिर उस समय में जो active aspirants थे इन लोगों को पता हुआ कि उस समय में एक हंगर स्ट्राइक हुआ था। उसमें क्या हुआ था कि जीएस पेपर टू का लिकेज का बात हुआ था। तो इसी के चलते बहुत सारा लोग का जो हायर ऑफिसर्स हैं, जो सिस्टम में हैं, जैसे निमातन रंग हैं, इनका दिवासिस दे हैं, एंड द गैंग, इनका वहाँ में सस्पेंशन भी हुआ था। तो ये सब है 2014 से, 14 का। � in 2014, a benchmark was set here, because in your timeline, you can access the evidence and documentation. But the thing is that you can do it before 2014. There's no issue here. Someone will come and come and do it. But from 2014, there are 92 examinations. What are you seeing in this investigation? CBI, ED, etc. 11th round. Yes, in 11 exams, there were malpractices. And then, there was nothing to happen. So, we have kept it from 2014. It is open that if you have to do the investigation of the future, rather, we will give it to you. All right, so we'll head on to the ninth point, which has put the government on big conundrum, right? And there has been huge hues and cries against this demand as well, null and void. So the, I would like to read out for the audience what exactly does the demand place. It says that any examination found to be involved with malpractices like paper leakage scams 
must be immediately declared null and void. So one of the question that, um, that is in the mind of the people is, what is the rationale behind null and void? You know, what is the rationale behind the demand of null and void? And the action that, as you have stated on the application, it says that the government just, you know, put forward it, the minutes of the meeting and without complying to the procedure labs and SOPs, violating the examination, whatever paper leakage happened, and also without going to cabinet procedure. That is very much uh, understandable. But we also want to know why, uh, you know, null and void? Why not other, anything? It can be a many logical solution to it instead of null and void. Yeah, I'll take that question. <coughs> See, uh, <coughs> regarding this particular topic that is null and void, mm -hmm. see there are a lot of uh, confusions going on. The first and foremost, the confusion is that all the examinations mm -hmm. from 2014 mm -hmm. 2000, 2000, to 2022, mm -hmm. exams null and void. That is a wrong perception people have built, some people have. So what is clear karna hai ki this uh, wherever what we are asking is that Null and void should be, you know, declared upon those examination, jaha jaha mein paper leakage hua hai, not mm -hmm. all the examinations. So <coughs> null and void ka concept ye hai, ki humne jab yaha mein dekha, ki yaha pe jo paper leakage hua hai, see ye jo scheme hai, yaha pe aap, if you see the modus operandi of the scheme, mm -hmm. kaa se suru hota hai SOP ka violation se, mm -hmm. waha se pata chalta hai ki kuch hua hai, mm -hmm. and then waha bolta hai ki paper leakage hai, or कोई बोलता है कि पेपर सेलिंग है। I will say पेपर सेलिंग भी हुआ है, पेपर लीकेज भी हुआ है। यहाँ में सिर्फ पेपर सेलिंग या लीकेज सिर्फ नहीं हुआ। जो 2017 कंबाइन एग्जामिनेशन, जहाँ में मिनोटी बोरंग का केस है, उसमें ये मोरस ऑपरेंटे ये भी देखा गया है कि वो जो आदमी जो है पेपर मिल चुका था, प्रीलिम्स में भी मेंस के लिए भी दो महीना पहले पेपर मिल गया और मेंस का पेपर मिलके उसने एग्जाम लिखा लेकिन बाद में पता चलता है कि डिस्पाइट गेटिंग द पेपर एंड राइटिंग द आंसर स्क्रिप्ट अकॉर्डिंगली तब भी वो क्लियर नहीं कर पाता है वो रिक्वायर्ड मार्क्स ऑप्टेन नहीं कर पाता है तब जाके क्या क्या है जो उसमें से जो जो टॉपर था द सबसे ज्यादा हाईएस्ट स्कोरिंग कैंडिडेट उसका आंसर स्क्रिप्ट को निकाल के ये जो है ताकि जरंग जो है क्या किया है वो स्क्रिप्ट को निकाल के होटल चांदनी होटल में जाके उसी कैंडिडेट को दोबारा लिखने दिए पेस्ट कॉपी पेस्ट करने दिए तो नाउ यू कैन सी कि यहाँ में सिर्फ पेपर लीकेज या पेपर ये सेलिंग हुआ नहीं पेपर को रीराइटिंग भी किया गया है नाउ यू टेल मी जो एग्जामिनेशन में ऐसा हुआ है वो एग्जामिनेशन को क्या करना चाहिए वेन यू से नल एंड वॉइड जस्ट नॉट जस्ट नल एंड वॉइड वो एग्जामिनेशन को रिकंडक्ट करना है we don't really understand that. Haan. Okay. So I'm telling you the hmm. yeah, yeah, it starts from here only. Okay. So our demand started from here. Because here me, chota mota se normally paper leakage ya wo selling hua nahi hai. Lot of things happen. So examination process wo compromise ho gaya. So that's how we said ki the examination jaha me ye paper leakage ya ye paper selling ka jo bhi scheme hua hai, wo examination ko ab reconduct karna chahiye. That's how we said that this examination must be declared null and void. All right. That's how we came up to this demand. Okay, so I mean, your point is quite valid when you say that you know exam should be rescheduled because the sanctity has been compromised, yeah. right? Yes. So, um, despite minute 2017 exams, uh, you know, except Minuti Borang, there were other who were involved in it. And you just said that key paper leakage happened in it. It seems that from your statement, it seems that it happened in a very large scale, mm -hmm. right? So, but what about the other candidates? Or what about the other aspirant who, you know, got the seat only and only because of, of the deeds of their hard, uh, hard work? What about them? You know, I, and I'd say that if the examination is reconducted, mm -hmm. don't you think that they should get a fair chance in that as well? So what is your view on that? Don't you think that, you know, even the age limit is also there. Many, many of the aspirants who actually has qualified must have crossed 40 by now, yes. right? Or must be somewhere around the line. So how do you think that this demand will justify them as well? See, 
First and foremost, Yape, <coughs> we are not denying that there are no genuine officers. Oh, we completely accept that Yape genuine officers be here. Lekin, Yape, we are not saying ki genuine, genuine versus non genuine ka Yape case nahi hai. Yape jo case hai ki examination process, whether it was compromised or not. <coughs> Yame sabse pehle, we are we are questioning the sanctity of the examination process. That's the first point. Secondly, if there is a genuine officer, we have said that the null and void point is our right hai, because we have been deprived. Now, if you say that the genuine officers have said that our state government has also appealed that the genuine officers do not agree with it. We say that वो भी अपना जगह में सही गलत नहीं है और हम भी अपना जगह में गलत नहीं है लेकिन हमारा माय सजेशन इस डेट कि स्टिल इफ यू हैव एन अप्रोप्रेट अल्टरनेटिव जहाँ पे जो जेनुन ऑफिसर्स हैं वो लोग को भी डिप्रेवेशन ना हो और डेफिनेटली हम लोग को भी जस्टिस मिलना है इफ यू कैन फाइन एन मिडल पार्ट और इफ when parents against null and void conducted a rally, mm -hmm. their, uh, their, uh, they stated, they also they requested, in fact, said that ki there should be a screening committee. You know, mm -hmm. screening committee should be established so that you know, they, they, they can differentiate between the genuine and tainted candidate. And they also said that implementation of which, I mean, implementation of which, that is null and boy, void, will have a severe repercussion. And if the null and void is implemented. It's going to severely affect the state on a various aspect, right? So what is your opinion on the parents suggesting of the screening committee? See, you're talking about the fair play, right? Mm. See, you're, you're talking about those candidates who got appointed, mm -hmm. right? But what about the aspirants who did not get appointed? because of that malpractices. Have you thought about it? See, because these people are saying that they, were, they are going to suffer. Mm. But what about the people who have already, be, already been suffering because of these practices? Mm. So, here we have the examination to reconduct the examination we have proposal here. Here we have it that those examinations where the paper is written, that examination should be reconducted and only those candidates will be applicable. उस समय में जो एप्लिकेंट्स था आप थोड़ा पहले जैसे बोला कि किसी का एज क्रॉस हो रहा है किसी का वो ये टाइम यू नो दैट टाइम हैज यू नो रन आउट तो सेम थिंग अप्लाइज विद दोस कैंडिडेट्स हु डिड नॉट गेट थ्रू क्योंकि वो भी तो सेम एज में है अभी इफ यू आर कंपेटिंग यू आर कंपेटिंग � Seems like PAJ SC from your statement. It seems like you are really rigid on your demand that you are not going to, you know, have an ease on the demand, right? So um, I really want to know that when you placed this, this demand in front of the government when you had a meeting on 18 Feb, this is the minutes of the meeting, mm -hmm. uh, and even the minutes of the meeting that that was placed by the government. And says that they look into they look into it, mm -hmm. but I want to know what was the reaction, the verbal reaction back then when you placed this demand in front of the government. Yeah, here in fact, um, Honourable Chief Minister, mm -hmm. he himself was shocked to know that mm -hmm. such a scam happened in in such huge scale, in such a scale of such magnitude. So here, there we had a very thorough discussion regarding this point. We also said. Why we are asking for it? See, here, ya pe, hamara, mera koi individual interest nahi hai. Ya me koi pen organizational joint steering committee ka just ek ye ka organization ka demand nahi hai. This is the demand of the entire population of this state. Chal, usme se koi koi hai jo disagree kar raha ho. Lekin this is the majority of the population demands this. To jaise apne kaha ki, are we rigid in this demand? Definitely our stand is clear. Lekin hamne ye bhi ye baat shuru se bola hai. कि चीफ मिनिस्टर को भी वही बोला था उस समय में ऑन 18 ऑफ़ फ़ेब्रुअरी हमारा दिमाग में हम क्यों रखा है वी हैव क्लियर तो अंतिल अल्लेस यू गिव अस एन अप्रोप्रेट अल्टरनेटिव वी आर रिजिट हियर बट इफ यू कैन गिव अस एन अप्रोप्रेट अल्टरनेटिव वी विल लुक इनटू इट 
time. The ball is at his hand. Yes, exactly. He's, so he's, he's literally not doing anything. All right. So, you know, one of the, when uh, during an interview with uh, one of the printed journalism, uh, print media, parents also said that ki there should be a natural justice, right, mm -hmm. for the uh, genuine and non-tainted candidate. Mm -hmm. There should be a genuine uh, um, natural justice because it may, it will deprive them to right of opportunity, right to equality. What is your take on that? <coughs> See, actually I, I personally have also come across someone asking me, putting across this question, the principle of net, what about the principle of natural justice from the other side? So, uh, uh, my understanding about principle of natural justice as a common law mm -hmm. is that uh, this set of principle is uh, meant to uphold the equity and uh, equality in any kind of decision making. Mm -hmm. Right. So, uh, when, when you see, just like my friend has said, when you see from the one side, principle of natural justice, to them, it apparently seems okay, they are claiming it. Like uh, as a reiteration, but principle of natural justice does not work like that. It has to be from either side. If you are talking about equity, if you are talking about equality, it has to be seen from the other side. So in this regard, say, uh, suppose the this demand of null and void, ye ratu rat banani hai. Iske piche bohot sara analysis hua hai. Iske upar bohot research hua hai. Tab jaake null and void ka demand aaya. And is iske chalte jab tak 18 February se pehle. Ansuta is isume, absuta is isume, baki aspirants look, both sari look there. The iske chelte to timeline ayata, usme, they were enough meeting and enough sittings with the government level, ki isme up tainted, untainted, ko segregate kijie. To just in our, the pen around to join studying committee along with the rest of the public, ka jo nalin would get demand hai. All we want is, is system may garver in sun backdoor entry karneala, inefficient. वाला इंसान नहीं रहना चाहिए, राइट? तो हमारा क्या है कि हमारा क्लीन सिस्टम है। तो अभी उस चीज को अपहोल करने के लिए, इफ द अदर साइड, नो मेटर इफ देर इस सम जेनुइन ऑफिसर्स आर आल्सो देर एंड देर पीपल विथ हाई रिगर्स तो हम आई एक्चुअली लुक अप तो, एंड आई डू नॉट डाउट देर इंटीग्रिटी। बट हैविंग से� was not the sanctity of that examination compromised. If it has been compromised, what effort has the government done to segregate this tainted and untainted? Alternative nahi de paare. That is why we are going ahead with this uh, null and void demand. And if you talk about principle of natural justice, natural justice dono sides se lagna hai. Isko ek tarfa dekhna nahi chahiye. So you have, uh, uh, so it's, I'll say it again that it seems that your point is extremely, you, you the demand is extremely rigid. You are not ready to move back from the demand. And, and, and it's the same with the parents against null and void. They are also extremely adamant to scrape this demand out of charter of demands, right? So um, I want to know, I really want to know that wahame kuch kuch, you know, jo officer select hua hai, you might be acquainted with them also, right? So have, have you, uh, of your committee and the parents against null and void or let's say the people who are against the null and void have you guys sat together actually and discussed over it any discussion happened between you guys so to come up with a solution to it see aisa hai ye jo the demand which we have placed just as my friend has said ye jo hai ye overnight aya nahi hai we have done a lot of... After it was placed. Haha, yeah, we have done a lot of um, ye discussions on it. And this demand is that we have a mass rally, hua, referendum rally. Mm -hmm. And there was a burn call mm -hmm. in the month of December. After that, multiple mm -hmm. dharnas and mass meetings and rallies. Then nobody came to object. Mm -hmm. Nobody had any say on it. It's only after 18th of February that suddenly there was objection on this particular demand. Because before that demand was there in the public domain for the last maybe five, six months. But then there was no need to discuss it. So now, post 18 February, on a personal capacity, I met some of them. 
लेकिन हमने उस वो लोग को भी वही बोला है कि आपका जो भी ग्रुप है मे बी वी कैन हैव अ डिस्कशन लेकिन दैट इनिशिएटिव हैज टू कम फ्रॉम देम बिकॉज डिमांड इज नो इनिशिएटिव प्लेस राइट दे डि नॉट प्लेस दोज डिमांड फर्स्ट दैट वॉज वी वर दंस टू आस्क फॉर इट दे डि नॉट ऑब्जेक्ट इट इनिशियली तो वो जो पार्ट है द द डिस्कशन पार्ट इनफैक्ट वी फील दैट ये जो ये जो है ये हम दोनों का बीच में डिस्कशन होने का जगह भी नहीं है ये जो है स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हैज टू डिसाइड क्योंकि इफ दे फील दैट दे आर राइट दे विल टेक देर साइड आई मीन दे विल टेक देर ऑन स्टैंड एंड वी फील दैट वी आर राइट सो वी विल टेक आर स्टैंड नाउ द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट द जो हमारा गवर्नमेंट जो लाइक ही इज लाइक ही इज द फाइनल अथॉरिटी ही हैज टू डिसाइड कि इसमें किसका पॉइंट वैलिड है एंड इनफैक्ट ये एटीन फेबर में he has given in writing that he would he would recommend it he would send it to the commission so we are actually questioning why he hasn't done it yet abhi tak kyun ruka hua hai agar usko aisa obstacle kuch bhi problem aa raha hai to he can very well tell us iska karan se hum nahi kar pa rahe but without any correspondence without any action he is just staying mum aur aise lag raha hai ki anti nalin boyd ko hum log se lagne dena hai that kind of game plan is going on yes. actually जबकि हमारा कोई उससे कोई एनमिति भी नहीं है ऑल वी आर आस्किंग इज द एग्जामिनेशन प्रोसेस में कॉम्प्रोमाइज हुआ है दैट्स ऑल ओके सो विल मूव ऑन टू आवर टेंथ डिमांड विच सेज दैट इंक्लूजन ऑफ टू मेंबर्स फ्रॉम द एस्पिरेंट्स इन द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर्स ऑफ ए पी पी एस सी नो द गवर्नमेंट हैज ऑलरेडी गिवन आज फॉर द फीडबैक्स फ्रॉम द एस्पिरेंट्स एंड अदर स्टेक होल्डर्स रिगार्डिंग द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द एस ओ पी एंड ए पी पी एस सी वे डो यू थिंक देर इज इट सीम्स लाइक द गवर्नमेंट इज ऑलरेडी ट्राइंग टू टेक अ स्टेप टूवर्ड्स इट बट वे डो यू थिंक दैट देर इज देर इट इज लैकिंग बिहाइंड ओके एज फार एज एस ओ पी इज कंसर्न या में ऐसा है ये जो ये गवर्नमेंट का तरफ से समटाइम्स दे कम अप विथ सम स्टेटमेंट लाइक हज़ारों हज़ारों पोस्ट है एग्जाम जल्दी कंडक्ट करना है बट मीन वाइल उसी बीच में ही हीट नेवर इंटरेक्टेड विद अस हीट नेवर एनी आस्क फॉर ऑफिशियली कभी भी हमसे इनपुट लेने का बात किया नहीं तो आर कंसर्न इज हेयर दैट जो एग्जामिनेशन आप कंडक्ट करने का जो बात कर रहे हैं एंड यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द कमीशन इनफैक्ट हम वो भी चाहता है कि जल्दी हो लेकिन मेन वाइल जब आप ये सब करने से पहले जो उसका जो स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर दैट इज द एस ओ पी जिसका कारण से ये स्केम में इतना बड़ा ये हुआ है सी ओल्ड स्केम हैपन थ्रू वायलेशन ऑफ द एस ओ पी और एस ओ पी वॉज फ्रेम इन सच कि इसको वायलेशन भी करना है और वो लोग पकड़ा भी नहीं जाना है दैट कैन ऑफ एस ओ पी दे केम अप विथ और इतना मैसेज तरीका से इसको ये वायलेशन हुआ फिर भी देर इज नो स्टिल नो कॉग्निजेंस ऑफ इट इन इन द एस ओ पी प्रिपरेशन में जो एटीन फेबर में आपका तरफ से जो रिटर्न एश्योरेंस आया कि द इनपुट्स ऑफ द एस्पिरेंट्स विल बी टेकन विल बी टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन सो फार देर इज नो कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंट्स एंड कमीशन भी फॉर्म हो जाएगा विदाउट लुकिंग इन टू द एस ओ पी सो उससे हमको ये एक ये एक डाउट होता है कि मे बी द कमीशन मे बी द गवर्नमेंट इज ट्राइंग टू गो अहेड विदाउट द इनपुट्स फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम द एस्पिरेंट्स so why only two aspirant why not the other people who have an expertise on this why only aspirant and also uh, sop of appsc is consider it's confidential now how are you going to work up in work upon if if two aspirant has been installed in <coughs> see aspirants ko isliye humne emphasize isliye kiya because we are the direct stakeholders we know what exactly happened or we know the pain because ये जितना स्केम हुआ है इसमें सबसे ज़्यादा दर्द किसको हुआ है द एस्पोरेंट्स एंड सिंस वी बिंग द पेन ऑन अचल जॉइंट स्टेरिंग कमेटी वी आर ग्रुप ऑफ एस्पोरेंट्स एंड आफ्टर गोइंग थ्रू इन डिटेल अबाउट दिस स्केम क्या क्या हुआ है उसमें ये पता चला है कि द प्राइमरी वन ऑफ द प्राइमरी रीजन वॉज बिकॉज ऑफ द वीकनेस ऑफ द एस तो उसको अभी अभी हमको ये पता चला कि वो एस का कारण से इतना लाइफ बर्बाद हुआ इन द पास ऑल्सो इन द प्रेजेंट ऑल्सो and you know like potentially in the future also which we want to prevent at any cost okay so it seems that uh, you want the sop sop if it is you know i meant further it should not be confidential is it so see <coughs> the the sanctity of the sop we we feel that if it if it is meant to be confidential we do not have any problem with 
So we will uh, talk about the 11 demand placed by the committee. It says that the immediate legislation and implementation of Whistleblower Act with special provision for the protection and reward for the whistleblower. So before moving forward, the Whistleblower Act which uh, of 2015, which was passed on by Lok Sabha, but then there was some discussion, there's a congestion going on. Center mein abhi tak implement nahi hua hai. But then you are asking the state to implement Whistleblower Act, right? So how do you think that it's going to work out? I think there is already one act which has been enacted by the uh, Indian Parliament. Yes. Mm. So the only difference is that this uh, ye ye particular act has not been implemented yet. So there is one, uh, within this act itself, there is a section called uh, Section 26, according to which this mm. has every state government has empowered yes. that they can uh, make their own rules with respect to this particular act. तो उसको लेके हमने जब <coughs> मांगा ये विशाल ब्लॉर एक्ट को वी आस्क आई थिंक द रीजन बिहाइंड दैट इज दैट ये जो ग्यामर पदंग आई थिंक ये जो एक विशाल ब्लॉर बनके आया है ही हैज सेट अ रेयर एग्जांपल आई थिंक अरुणाचल में इससे पहले कभी भी हमने कोई विशाल ब्लॉर का नाम भी नहीं सुना और ये इतना बड़ा स्केम में एक विशाल ब्लॉर बनना दैट कम्स विद अ लॉट ऑफ रिस्क आल्सो तो इसलिए हमने <coughs> ये डिसाइड किया है कि दिस विसल ब्लॉर एक्ट नीड्स टू बी इनेक्टेड एंड वी नीड मोर ग्यामर पादंग्स इन द फ्यूचर और इसी इसलिए हमने ये कहा कि विद इन दिस विसल ब्लॉर एक्ट इट सेल्फ ग्यामर पादंग को रिवॉर्ड भी करना है ही हैज़ टू बी प्रोटेक्टेड एंड ऑल्सो ही हैज़ टू बी रिकोगनाइज उससे क्या होगा दैट विल सेट एन एग्जाम्पल दैट विल बी एन दैट विल बी अवज एनकरेजमेंट फॉर द फ्यूचर विसल ब्लॉर्स कि व्हेन वी वर पुटिंग दिस एस वन ऑफ द चार्टर ऑफ डिमांड तो ग्यामर पादंग ही हिमसेल्फ हैड डिनाइड दैट एनी काइंड ऑफ रिवार्ड शुड नॉट बी गिवन टू हिम दैट्स व्हाट ही वाज क्लियरली सेइंग बट वी सेड इट्स नॉट जस्ट फॉर यू ये सिर्फ आपके लिए नहीं है हमको एक एग्जांपल सेट करना है फॉर द फ्यूचर जनरेशन ऑल्सो तब जाके ये एक्ट को हमने गवर्नमेंट के पास रखा गवर्नमेंट से अश्योरेंस आया रिटर्न अश्योरेंस बट द लेटेस्ट अपडेट इज दैट सो फार इस इसको लेके अभी तक कुछ इनफैक्ट इसका ड्राफ्ट भी नहीं निकला है ऑल राइट सो विल हेड ऑन टू द ट्वेल्थ डिमांड विच सेस द जस्टिस फॉर मिस मुदांग याबियांग पी डब्ल्यू डी डिप्राइव कैंडिडेट एंड स्ट्रीम लाइनिंग ऑफ द सेलेक्शन क्राइटेरिया फॉर डिफरेंटली एबल पर्सन कैंडिडेट राइट गवर्नमेंट हैव पुट फोर दैट इट हैज आज द फीडबैक्स फ्रॉम द स्टेक होल्डर्स टू स्ट्रीम लाइन द सेलेक्शन क्राइटेरिया फॉर द person with differently able candidate. So my question to you, in fact, uh, it would be in the mind of many, why her? You know, since PAJSC stands for the common course, why specifically her case? Yeah, when we <coughs> came to know about her case, Esata, when we were uh, spearheading this whole thing, so Usi Beach May there was a news about this uh, our sister Mudang Yabyang. Mm -hmm. we saw her uh, you know every day she was approaching the he was she was going to the secretariat or chief secretary ko milne ka koshis kar rahe. in fact a chief minister ko bhi milne ka koshis kar rahe. or in a APPAC office maybe she was she was going basically she was going from pillar to post because mm -hmm. okay. uska jo ye injustice hua hai if you if you hear about her story, it is really shocking. Because ऐसा था उसका examination में जहाँ में जिसमें उसको deprived किया गया है. She belongs to a particular can, uh, particular category that is person with this person with this abilities category. तो वो examination में ऐसा था कि there was a post and he, she was the only candidate. Mm -hmm. And despite that she she did not get it. तो हमने पूछा कि ये कैसे हो गया? So, we knew that somehow the commission and the, uh, the department, the concerned department, was She was literally being, you know, asked to run from this place to that place. So, we realized that, and in fact, we had a meeting with PAJC, which was in IG Park, in Tennis Court. <coughs> she would come, mm -hmm. she would attend almost every meeting. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, she approached us. Ki <coughs> 
ये एक ऐसा इशू आप आप लोग भी काइंडली देख दीजिए तब जाके हमने उसका पॉइंट को यहाँ में इंक्लूड किया और उसके बाद ये भी है कि इवन दो वी आर अवेयर कि पी एच जी फॉर अ कॉमन कोर्स एंड यहाँ पे देखा जाने से ये इसका अपना इंडिविजुअल केस है लेकिन हमारा मानना ये है कि मुदंग या व्यंग बिंग एन इंडिविजुअल लेकिन उसका केस जो है बहुत लोगों का सिमिलर केस है बिकॉज सी बिलोंग्स टू अ पर्टिकुलर कैटेगरी जो पर्सन विद डिसबिलिटीज है इफ यू कैटर हर इशू अभी ऑटोमेटिकली दैट इज़ गोइंग टू कैटर द मैनी ऑफ द इशूज ऑफ ये जो पर्सन विद डिसबिलिटीज कैटेगरी का है सो विल हैड ऑन टू दर्टीन डिमांड दैट इज द लास्ट इट सेज दैट इमीजिएट the recalling of the three official posts under APPSC so we want to know what is the logic behind the demand and since the cadre has been merged with arunachal pradesh civil secretariat what could be the disadvantage and advantage of the move this um, this particular demand was placed at that point of time jab ye uh, when sakit jarang was given force retirement yeah. एंड मैनी ऑफ दी जो ऑफिशल्स था उसको रिप्लेस करने का जो प्रोसीजर चल रहा था तो उसी समय में आर डिमांड वॉज दैट जितना ऑफिशल्स है दे हैव टू बी रिप्लेस उसको रिप्लेस करना है एंड न्यू ऑफिसर्स हैव टू बी ब्रॉट इन लेकिन उस समय में क्या हुआ बट बिफोर ब्रिंगिंग इन द न्यू ऑफिसर्स आपको एक गाइडलाइन सेट करना है दे हैव टू कम अप विद द प्रॉपर प्रोसीजर जहाँ पे यू शो दी द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटस एंड दी अदर Uh, बाकी जो भी इंफॉर्मेशन uh, है दैट हैज़ टू बी उसको पब्लिक करना है लेकिन दिस थ्री ऑफिशल्स दे वर पोस्टेड यू नो डूबियसली सिविल सेक्रेटरीट का जो कादर है इन द ए पी पी सी कादर स्टेट गवर्नमेंट का तरफ से उसको मर्ज कर दिया आई थिंक इसको सबसे पहले समझना जरूरी है द इसका इसका मतलब ये है कि बिफोर बिफोर द मर्जिंग ऑफ द कादर ऐसा था अरुणाचल प्रदेश पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन बींग अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल बॉडी इट इज ऑटोनोमस इन नेचर तो इसमें क्या होता था कि स्टेट गवर्नमेंट का इतना रोल नहीं होता है इवन द ऑफिशियल्स दे को नॉट पोस्ट एंड रिमूव एनी टाइम इट वॉज नॉट लाइक दैट और वहाँ का जितना भी जो uh, उसका फंक्शनिंग है दे वेर नॉट आंसरेबल टू द गवर्नमेंट दे वेर आंसरेबल विद इन द कमीशन तो ऐसा था तो अभी ये मर्जिंग करने के बाद क्या हुआ द ऑफिशियल्स दे के नॉट फंक्शन दे हैव टू फंक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू द गाइडलाइन सेट बाई द सिविल सेक्रेटरीट जो सिविल सेक्रेटरी से जो भी गाइडलाइन बने वो कंट्रोल करेगा तो अभी ऐसे हुआ कि इसका एडवांटेज ये है कि लास्ट टाइम जैसे जो इनकन्वीनियंस uh, था कि ए पी पी एस सी बींग कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल बॉडी एक ऑटोनोमस उसका स्टेटस uh, है उसका कारण से बहुत ज़्यादा ऑफिशियल्स को इन्वेस्टिगेशन के अंदर में या फिर बाकी कुछ uh, ये डिपार्टमेंटल इंक्वायरी नहीं कर सकता है लेकिन ये मर्जिंग करने के बाद अभी स्टेट गवर्नमेंट कैन कैरी आउट डिपार्टमेंटल इंक्वायरी एंड अदर Uh, related activities mm. without taking permission from you know from the concern department mm. lekin uska disadvantage ye hai ki any officer can be posted any time and they can be removed any time in short they have to be working as per the whims and fancies of the government to appcs being a constitutional being a, being an autonomous body uska jo ek autonomy jo ye status hai to maintain the autonomous uh, status of the institution uska jo officials they have to they have to be given autonomy also to usko kaise karke autonomous autonomy kaise maintain karega aisa hoga if those officials whoever is posted they are at least ensure that they have a fixed tenure there tab jaake uska ek autonomy rahega isliye humne ye 18 february ko bhi humne kaha tha ki whomever you want to post आप पोस्ट कीजिए लेकिन उसमें आ, आप उसको एक फिक्स टेन्यूर आप रखना है मिनिमम ऑफ एटलीस्ट टू इयर्स एंड देयर हैज़ टू बी अ पीरियोडिक रोटेशन क्योंकि पीरियोडिक रोटेशन होने से क्या होगा कि कोई ऑफिसर एक जगह में बहुत साल तक नहीं टिकेगा तब क्या तब उसका क्या ये एडवांटेज होगा जो जो तकित जरांग ने इतना साल एक जगह में रह जो एक स्कीम एग्जीक्यूट किया है दैट काइंड ऑफ सिमिलर सिचुएशन कैन बी प्रिवेंटेड और दूसरा ये है कि यहाँ में जैसे कि वो जो ऑफिसर्स है दे विल एटलीस्ट बी श्योर कि वी कैन फंक्शन एफिशिएंटली विदाउट द प्रेशर फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट तो इन शॉर्ट ऐसा है कि स्टेट गवर्नमेंट शुड नॉट बी एबल टू मैनिपुलेट और शुड नॉट बी एबल टू यहाँ पे 
uh, should not be able to dilute the constitutional body that is the APPAC, which has uh, which has an autonomous character or uska sanctity ko bhi maintain karna hai. We have come to the end of the, uh, discussing charter of demands. So if you were to you know uh, count it on a percentage basis mm -hmm. in the span of a year, government kitna percentage tak kam kiya hoga? See, <coughs> agar agar if the government had the will, mm -hmm. this 13 points charter of demand, this can be done within three months. Mm -hmm. It won't take even three months. Mm -hmm. In fact, yaha mein kuch kuch demand se which will take some time. Lekin rest of the demand that can be done within at the most oh, okay. three months. Lekin they have taken one full year here. Mm -hmm. Especially yaha mein dekha jane se since 18th of February or abhi uh, August chal rahe, six months have gone by. Why they have taken so much of time? Or abhi jaise ki bahar mein ek narrative pehla raha hai ki government sab kuch kar chuka hai. Why these people are still screaming? Why these people are still shouting? Or ye sab exam bhi conduct karne nahi de raha hai? Dekho, yaha mein abhi ab dekh liya. I think you must have after having a thorough discussion, thorough uh, deliberation on the entire 13 point charter of demand, you must have realized that not even one point, one single point has been, you know, completely fulfilled. Chalo, kuch kuch extent tak kya hai. We will not deny ki nahi kya hai. So overall we feel that government has betrayed the kind of faith we, you know, we, we have given upon them. In fact, jo 18 February mein jab hum waha se bahar nikla tha, we came out with a complete faith. Ek aisa barosa tha ki Chief Minister, Pema Khandu sir, kyunki ye 13th Charter of Diman ko thoroughly for almost 8 to 9 hours हमने discuss किया उसके बाद ये minus of the meeting draw हुआ और इसमें clear cut लिखा है कि ये करेगा और खुद लिख के खुद written assurance देके I do not know why he has failed to stand by his commitment. Okay, so Tadak and Rana, I want to put straight questions to you as well. Uh, it's been on in our conversation that एक साल तक हो गया है. So um, I am not sure if you have read an article on the wire and the times which it stated the I'll quote it it stated the movement started to was going quite well but it started to take the wrong turn when people with dubious character started to hijack the movement I quoted from the wire and instead of focusing on the issue the characters became the center of attention and this when movements started to lose their direction. So one, one question I, want, I, I would like to put forward is, is Pan Arunachal Joint, Second, uh, Joint Steering Committee is deviating from the goal or deviating from the goal and it, because it seems like the room is way too crowded. What do you have to say on that? Um, <clears throat> I think that is, a, that is the kind of, I think that's the kind of doubt many people must be having. ऐसा है जो यहाँ पे जितना भी जो participation हुआ है from different groups because before seventeen जो seventeen February में जो event हुआ the bun call which happened उसमें इतना public का participation आया I won't say कि there is any dubious character और या फिर with ill intention का साथ आया everybody came for thirteen points charter of demand और ये सब like dusra like um, this um, this narrative started changing how and when hmm. it started changing jab government apna hi bola wala jo, jo assurance diya wala mein government failed to stand by that tab jaake this uh, various voices they uh, they went in different direction lekin hamara bolna ye hai ki <coughs> the 13 point charter of demand is the compass is the is the you know is the is the main primary demand which, which keeps us together. Okay. And this is the same demand which Let Gyamar Padang also was a part of when we were placing this. So, I mean, it's not, I, um, I mean, it's not the first time that our state have faced such issue which have shook the entire population. Before that, there were many cases that was, that was revealed. Let's set in an example of PDS scam that happened and we have the case that happened on 2011 where around 2,000 illegal appointments in various government departments was unearthed. But with the passing of time, you know, 
let's say the PDS scam, I think it, um, if I am aware of, I think it took around 2003, the PDS scam. So, ja ja ke 2017 tak extend ho gaya hai. And with the time, you know, the same, uh, same uh, pattern is evident passing from here to there, pull, uh, you know, passing the ball from one department to different department. The issue was stretched out and somehow it got forgotten on the way. Do you have the same fear, you know, the same fear that down the line, the APP, APP SC fiasco will have the same fate? Uh, actually, the ugly truth about one uh, uh, corruption is the indifference behavior that people show towards corruption uh, is the main, I would say, the culprit here. Because uh, see, APPS as an institution also is uh, engulfed with corruption from top to bottom. And uh, this paper scheme is a product of that. So, uh, but then uh, if you see uh, the Pen Arunachal Joint Steering Committee led uh, and supported by the public, entire public organization parties has been spearheading this uh, APPS paper decay scheme for the last one year. But uh, after the completion of even one year, uh, if you see the turnout, the, uh, the, the discussions that is going around in the, uh, in the public domain, it's not uh, very encouraging, very uh, enterprising, I would say. This is because somewhere the pe uh, my, people's mindset has been that corruption is going to happen. It's like they have already succumbed uh, to the happenings that is there. So uh, just, the, just like the, some of the uh, corruption scandals that you have quoted, we do fear that these things should not turn out that way. And that is why this pan Arunachal Joint Steering Committee has been standing so firm from day one. And we actually want this moment, the revelation that yes. Gamar Padang has, uh, yes, uh, has given us, we want a logical conclusion to this one. Right. So um, it's quite appreciated that you're appreciable that you are headstrong to get the demands fulfilled. Now, there has been many rallies conducted, even the press conference, as you said, that you have given many times. Uh, but the improvement that is happening, it seems that it is happening on a very sn snail process, right? So um, I want to ask you, what would be your next step? the next step that you want to take yeah. after this? Actually, it's a, so you know, like a, the more important what I feel is, is not what our next step would be. It, would, uh, it, it is rather when will the issue be resolved. Mm -hmm. See, so, uh, in a span of one year, I would say that uh, a lot, many things has happened. Mm -hmm. There are multiple dharnas, like uh, already stated, mm -hmm. bun calls, couple of bun calls. Mm -hmm. but, the stand, uh, uh, but the thing is, the issue is not resolved yet. Mm -hmm. But provided that uh, we still repose our faith on the government that the issue be resolved, and since the ball is in the government's court, so if this issue is not resolved, we, we actually have a couple of uh, options to explore it. Uh, when the time requires, as in when, might we will let you know then. All right. So I want to put this last question that I really want to put forward to both of you, since both of you are aspirant as well. Mm -hmm and you are heading on towards this movement. And of course, there are many threads that you might be getting in and around. And you are an aspirant, you are planning to give an exam in future as well. Do you have this fear that it is going to affect your career as well? Yeah. See, um, before we jump into this, this issue may involve hone se pehle. not just us. I think this dar har kisi ka paas hai. Every aspirant, because it is an open secret that whoever raises voice, which is the definitely they are targeted. They are hit list, mein hai, they are highlighted, mm -hmm. and then accordingly they are targeted. And there are itna jada such instances are there that my friends are there, who have issue it so strongly, and they have a detrimental effect. Hua hai. Likewise, that same kind of fear we also have. We also had. In fact, ये शुरू करने से पहले वो दर बहुत ज़्यादा था. और जब से ये में जुर गया, that that fear is actually gone. I no, Tarak, I want to know from you as well. Uh, since you said that you know you have been targeted, I mean target point बन चुका है at certain point. Now I want to put forward the recent incident that happened, uh, you know, 
where the Payana Arunachal Joint Steering Committee one, one was on a social service to clear out the mm -hmm. 6 kilometer ka jo rasta tha to you know install statue of honesty mm -hmm. and there was dialogue that happened between you and DC and you know mm -hmm. there was a scuffle between mm -hmm. and Apu Apa was imposed on you and you went into hiding. We want to know about that as well. Do you think that was a part of the target that you are talking about? Mm -hmm. ye, uh, jo, that particular location you are talking about, so I think abhi bhi public mein shayad clarity hai na nahi hai. I don't know. Actually, aisa hua. Jo third May ko jab uh, hamara jo whistleblower hai, Gamar Padang sir ko jab Hyderabad se uska jo last remains ko leke aa raha tha, to usi day mein me and Techi Puru sir aur hamara kuch pen Arunachal Joint Steering Committee ka members, we wrote a representation to the district magistrate, jo Talapotam sir hai. उसको हमने एक लेटर लिखा ये लेटर लिख के दिया कि वो जो पर्टिकुलर एरिया में जहां पे स्टैच्यू ऑफ ऑनेस्टी का जो बात कर रहा है उसमें हमने ये ये लिखा कि वो पर्टिकुलर एरिया में ये स्टैच्यू बनाना है उसके लिए काइंडली आप परमिशन दीजिए फॉर परमिशन वी वेंट वी वेंट विद अ रिप्रेजेंटेशन आस्किंग फॉर परमिशन तो उसने क्या किया उसी लेटर को प्रिंसिपल सेक्रेटरी होम को फॉरवर्ड कर दिया उसी सेम टाइम 2 मंथ्स लेटर हम दोबारा ये we went again to the the same magistrate क्योंकि जो भी correspondence हुआ because वो ये जो letter था जो forward करने के बाद we did not receive any correspondence government का तरफ से तब हम उसी letter का follow up के लिए हम DC office के पास DC office गया तो उसमें हमने एक representation के पास गया कि there were two points there वो representation में ऐसा था कि जो third में में जो हमने एक representation लिखा था उसका update लेना था कि exactly what is the update of that particular representation which was which we had given on third of May वो था पहला point दूसरा point ये था कि जो particular area है जहाँ में हमने designate किया ये statue of honesty के लिए उसमें एक social service करना है तो उसमें हम ये जब letter को DC को दिया तो DC का तरफ से ये लिखता है कि without even reading the letter reading the representation उसमें ये लिखता है obtain NOC from highway national highway so we could not figure out because DC sir on 24th July we waited there for almost like 7 to 8 hours but we didn't get it so at the end last 5 minutes he signed and he was going to he was about to leave we asked that you should at least talk to him if you don't have permission then you will see at least talk to him so DC sir was not willing to meet there was no discussion between you and National Highway Authority of India See, see, I'm, let me complete. See, yeah, it was like that whatever correspondence has to happen with the National Authority of India, mm -hmm. that has to happen from the state government, not from us. Because we have the state government. That was the first point. And the second point is that do you require NOC from the highway? That is, and do you require from the highway? That is, and do you require from the highway? Permission is actually a requirement. Let's go. Then, if you have the permission, you could have, you could have just denied us. हम परमिशन नहीं दे सकते वो तो बोला नहीं है और इनफैक्ट वहाँ पे नेक्स्ट दिन हमको ये पता चलता है कि उसी एरिया में 144 आप सेक्शन 144 सीआरपीसी आप लगा दिया तो नो नोबडी कुड गेदर देयर इनफैक्ट सबको डिस्पर्स कर दिया सो वहाँ पे जो द काइन ऑफ इवेंट हैपन आफ्टर दैट जो डिटेंशन ऑर्डर निकला तो डेफिनेटली इसमें हम लोगों को पता चला है कि क्योंकि अगर अपवापा आप लेन ग्राबर के लिए लगाना है तो सबसे पहले तो सिविल सेक्रेटरी को लगाना है बिकॉज़ देर आल्सो कम्स अंदर दी रिजर्व फॉरेस्ट और लाइकवाइज इतना गवर्नमेंट क्वार्टर्स का एनक्रोचमेंट हुआ है अभी तक किसी का एंगेज में अपवापा डिटेंशन ऑर्डर नहीं निकला अपवापा के थ्रू से तो वहाँ से पता चलता है कि डेफिनेटली देर वॉज सम इंटेंशन Behind this. Personal in when that are involved. Exactly. You agree to that yes, as well. Yes. Would you like to add some more point to it, Rana? Yes, uh, uh, the whole point of me jumping into this issue, because I have not been invited, I have not been brainwashed by anyone. I have come on my own calling because I could relate with this issue. Because I've been I've been at the receiving end of this uh, uh, fiasco, this uh, malpractices, that uh, this corruption practices that's been happening in the system. So after seeing all, uh, going through all these things, today I have the feeling that if I buckle down today, what would I 
be doing too much because I'll be frustrated person then, mm -hmm. right? So my, uh, my contention is today, no matter what the outcome will, today I fight the, uh, the weaknesses, the uh, def defects in the institution that represents my goal. So right now, uh, if you feel that, uh, if you think that if I will still willing to sit for the examination, I would say definitely I'm willing to sit for the next examinations because uh, appearing for this examination, I have sacrificed a lot of uh, my youthful, the most productive age, sitting and pre uh, doing preparation for this examination. And to this day, I am still supremely confident of my preparation and of clearing the examinations. But uh, the fear of uh, being targeted, it's still there. Mm -hmm. But I still say I that, yeah, I, I would still say that uh, that thing does not hold me back. Because at this stage of my life, I'm also at that uh, point that uh, I, have, I do not have uh, secondary options yet. Mm -hmm. Because I'm supremely confident here. So I really hope the demands are fulfilled in a logical and a justifiable way. And uh, thank you so much for joining with us. It has been an amazing session conversing with you both. Uh, viewers, that's all we have for you today. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed our conversation as well. Um, thank you so much for joining with us. This is Emma Don signing off. Goodbye and take care.